There are too many people in this world trying to shout their names Well, how am I supposed to know how to run when I don't know who's to blame? And I get people something along the way Is it okay to be afraid of love if you don't understand? The day speed up, my God, I'll never let go of you now. Some things are not worth changing. My heart swells to the size of an orchid. It takes the rest of my heart away. Going down, down, down. But I'm never going back home. Some people into space without even really knowing If they're ever gonna come back down And there are people asking just where I am Is it okay to be afraid of hope if you don't know how to keep And the nights are so long without you The days speed up, my God, I just can't lose you now And things are about to change and My heart swells to the size of an orchid It takes the rest of my heart with Going down, 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 I'll never Back home If people on earth could just get together Then maybe we could find a place for each other If people on earth could just get together Then maybe we could find a place for each other now So you played Down, Down, Down for us, and that's a, a completely different sound from what we're used to uh, yeah. with you. And uh, how has that come about? Um, I think my solo stuff was always going to be an outlet for me to draw on influences that I had from kind of much younger, um, you know, the stuff that my dad kind of, you know, you're always influenced on the kind of stuff your parents yeah. put you onto. And like, when I was much younger, he was listening to kind of Jackson Brown records and Pet Shop Board. Oh, sorry, um, Beach Board. Sorry, I'll start again. Pet Shop Board. No, that's <laughs> fine. I quite like that. I'll tell you, that's the one thing I probably couldn't hear in your single. It was, was the Pet Shop Boys. Um, so it was just nice to be able to, when I started writing this record, to really sit down and think, you know, how can I um, kind of draw on all that stuff that I've had from, from, you know, mm. with me for many years. Um, and so I think in a way, you know, it was my re solo record was always going to sound like this. You know, it yeah. wasn't me sitting down and thinking, right, I'm going to do a solo album. What's it going to sound like? It was always going to be like this because yeah. this was really the stuff that I'd had building up inside of me for quite a long time. Really, the thing that stuck with me the most was I just love big harmonies. You know, yeah. layered vocals, layered harmonies. You know, the Eagles do it amazingly well. Mm. But um, you go back to those '70s records. You know, Crosby, Stills and Nash is a great example because they just it almost layer up vocals and make chords out of it. Yeah. And that's one of the things I want to do with this record. Yeah. There's a couple of tunes on the album. You know, there's actually five part harmonies. It was really nice, you know, it was really fun. It was the first time I'd really just been writing on my own, because obviously when you're in a band, you're writing together, you're yeah. kind of bouncing ideas off each other, but I was literally on my own in my home studio. You've been in bands basically your whole life. Is it not scary um, not having that to bounce off of, like to, to throw so. your ideas but at? It, and... It's weird, because in a way, yes. In a way, it's a daunting prospect. Yeah. But also, um, you've got to bear in mind, when you're in a band, it's almost a democracy. So you there's some things that you might like and you think, oh, I really like this idea, but you'd have to compromise if someone else in the band didn't like it. Right. So it, almost it was nice just to think, I haven't got to kind of answer to anything. If I like something, I can just put it in the song. Yeah. But then when I went in to record the record with a guy called Danton Supple, who's a brilliant producer, he's done like, like so much great stuff, Coldplay, The Cure, right. Morrissey, U2. 
um, he was that guy that I was like, you know, I took the songs and I was like, you know, if I was not sure about something, I'd say, look, Danton, what do you think about this? And he's got such a brilliant music head on him. Yeah. He'd say, well, you know, why don't you try re rewriting that bit or, you know, changing this bit? And so, I, and, then it, and then I'd start to think to myself, if I, if I liked the idea, I'd think, yeah, do it. So it was really three months of me and him just sat in the room together just making this record. And I've got to tell you, it's one of the best experiences I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah, it was amazing. So my secret, um, well, I guess it would have to be that there's very few times in my life where I can actually say I've had a proper blackout due to al al uh, alcoholic consumption. Like in the fact that you actually can't remember anything. And there's one time when I was about 15 where I went down to this very smart place in London um, and we were going to East or West? Uh, yeah, it was West. Good. Uh, <laughs> and it was, uh, and it was my, brother's, I mean, my friend's brother's 21st. So we were like 15, his brother was like 21. So, you know, we had to be best behaviour. And the parents had said, you know, you're only coming if you behave yourself, don't drink too much. We were like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I got there. By about, as so we got there about eight, by about nine, my memory starts to go. Um, and I just can't remember much. And I remember waking up once in the toilet being sick. And then I black out again. Then I remember being outside, laughing at the traffic for a bit. And, uh, and then black out again. And then I woke up the next morning. I was like, oh, I don't know what has gone on here. But... Uh, I had my, my, went into my, to see my friend and he was like, not that great to be honest. You uh, apparently vomited all over my mother's dress. So uh, she, wasn't, she wasn't too happy about that. And uh, yeah, it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't a great night. But I mean, it's a story to tell. So there you go, that's my secret. It takes the rest of my heart away, going down, down, down. But I'm never going back home. Ooh.